just recently I've had a few issues with bed adhesion. Now it's gone one of two ways. Either the print is lifting from the build plate, which means a failed print, or other times it's welding to the build plate. Uh, and I'll show you what's happened to me recently with the welding to the build plate. But what I've done to try to rectify this is invested in a flex plate. And this is the one that I've purchased from Amazon, as you can see, the big tree tech resin 3D printer platform I purchased. And as you can see, I bought this on the 7th of July and I bought the size that would fit the Elegoo Saturn. That's 196 times 126 millimeters. Um, now, this is the where we got it from. This is what I paid for it, 15.95. It's prime day when I'm doing this video, so it's a little bit cheaper. So I'm not quite sure what you guys will be paying for it, but this is definitely the one that I have purchased. And uh, let's have a look now at how we got it actually onto the build plate itself. One of your first missions is to make sure that your build plate is absolutely clean and free from resin, free from dust and free from any little chips or dinks that stick out. And I've used a 120 grit sandpaper to do that. Then I've took some IPA, some basic old IPA, popped it on a bit of kitchen roll and I'm giving it a really, really good clean. Now, some of the dirt will come off here will quite surprise you. It is a really filthy surface when you look at it and uh, make sure you get all the looks and crannies in there. Look at the state of that yuck give it another little wipe and redo it again with some clean kitchen roll and some clean ipa until you're happy it is spotlessly clean now this is what you will get out of the box there's no instructions it is literally just what you see in front of you there so open it up take all that protective sealant off it and you will see that what you have is two things. You have the outer plate. Now this will be the plate that all your prints stick to and you have your inner layer. Now to get the plate off, just use the little ridgy edge on the end and that's what you've got left. Your first mission here is to take that sticky pad off the back. Now if you bite your nails, uh, you might have a bit of trouble, but find a corner, lift it up and do not take it all off. That's really important. Just pull a little bit down, take your nice shiny clean build plate, the one you spent hours cleaning, and just line up the top two corners. Now you're only going to get one shot at this really, it's like a phone cover really. Get, get that lined up as best you can, and it'll take you a couple of times, but get it lined up as best you can. And once you're happy that it's lined up, just start at the very, very top, and like you would put a phone cover on, make sure there's no air bubbles, and pull the... Um, the cover down, the protective cover to allow the sticky to be revealed. And as you're doing that, push it down with your thumb just to get the air bubbles out. Again, take your time with this part. There's, there's no point rushing. You're gonna get one real shot at this. Take your time, push all the air bubbles down and just make sure that it's a level, as level as it can be. A bit time consuming, a bit laborious, but uh, have a go and this will not take you that long. I've speeded the process up here just so you can have a little look. And once you're happy it's all done, get that paper out and push it down. Now, one of the things that I recommend you do is get a bit of kitchen roll to keep it nice and clean, pop it on its face and give it a really good old shove. And once you're happy that's down, get something heavy like an old ornament or something with a bit of weight and pop it on. And the important thing now is leave it be and leave it be for 24 hours. Do not touch it. So popped the build plate back on and uh, started the leveling process exactly the same as any one of us would level it when we first had it. But then this happened. Not dogs barking as such, but this horrible noise turned out to be this. The Z axis limiter was just not long enough because of the size of the build plate. So what I had to do was build a little extender. So I went across to uh, a good old Thingiverse, found this little plate spacer on there, went back to my trusty Ender 5 and printed this space. Now, if you've only got the one printer, it's probably an idea to print it before you start. And there it is all finished. Once you've got it, it's literally just a case of using the tools that come with the printer and popping it on to extend down the little extender and re-level it. And here is the first print with the new, oh, the new plate on. Oh my, let's see what happened at the end. So I kept an eye on it through the build and everything looked fine and here's the end result. Let's just take it off the printer and have a look and as you can see, 
Um, build plate is still where it should be. Magnetic plate is still there. Nothing's come apart. Everything looks like it's printed absolutely fine. And now the moment of truth. Let's just pop it off the magnetic plate. And there we go. And uh, here we go with the money shot. A little bit of a tweak and a little bit of a bend and pop. And once again, a little bit of a bend and pop. And that is the easiest I have got anything off a build plate ever in resin printing this has been absolutely amazing now i'm going to just give that a little bit of wash i am constantly aware that's still so i'm going to make sure that i dry that really really well but there you go it's all dried it looks fine there's no marks on it there's no damage on it um, i'm not going to soak that in water too much the other bit i don't want anything coming off so i'm just going to give it a really good clean and when everything's dry and when everything's nice and clean reattaching the plate is as simple as that pop and you're ready for your next print. So what have I learned throughout that? Well, I have learned that a magnetic build plate definitely seems to be the way forward in getting prints off the build plate itself. And um, that is the easiest I've ever lifted anything off there. And I have gone from this, which is using a hammer and one of the tools to bash it off to this, which is literally just a quick flick and it's off there and it does the job. Now, um, were there any issues for me? Well, the issues, I guess, were printing that spacer. It's not a big issue. Now, I don't recommend you print that. Well, I do recommend you print it, um, and it won't take you long to print it, and just put it on hold and try to level first before you install it, because I have heard that other people have managed to level their build plates without putting a spacer on. Now, it will depend on what printer you're using, so I'm only talking about the Saturn here. But I've had some mixed reviews for the Saturn. Some people haven't needed to print it and other people have. So I guess just try it. Um, if you hear that noise, stop it straight away. Put your spacer on and uh, and use it that way. If you're not sure and you really don't want to risk it, then put the spacer on. You know, it's up to you really. Try and do what you think you can do. But um, so far, I can only recommend this uh, flex plate. Other makes are available. I've heard Wam Bam mentioned a few times, but this isn't a Wam Bam. This is a big treat tech so from my perspective um i can only recommend what i've got so far the proof of the pudding will be in months and months of use i get but so far it's a thumbs up from greedy 3d now if you want to buy this bill plate i'll put a link in the description and i'm an amazon affiliate so a little bit of money will come back to the channel and that will help me continue to make videos if you want to buy it through the link that really would be appreciated don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe see you next time on greedy 3d thank you